Hey what's up guys, it's LuddaBHD and today I'm going to be showing you um, a little trick and how to save a little bit of cost when it puts up, when we're putting up large boxes and yeah, save a little bit of room, um, hopefully, for you guys. So, the first common thing is, what we all do is, we get some shelves, um, we just place them there, and what we usually do is, we just place a box there, we just place a box there, and then exactly the same thing just at the top and it's quite costly because it costs like is it 250 wood or 250 frags for the frame and so on and the boxes aren't cheap themselves so I've come up with a, a new way to save a bit of room and I'm sure some of you already know this but if you use a pillar you should put, put the pillar there and because we can't stack shelves when they're like this can we? we can't really stack them so if we put one box there and we put another box on top of it the pillar is acting as a shelf so although you can only fit three depending on the size of your room if it's just one wall high you can fit three boxes on top so let's get some more fit that on somewhere I think it's because the thing's there in it. Oh, there we go. Add it then. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll set anyone up. So we've got that one there, we've got one. We've got two. And we've got three. I can't fit the third one on there because there's a lead hatch. I um, totally forgot that was there to be fair. Um, let's just knock this down. So, yeah, you could still put your things in them. No worries, asked. One, two, three. So, we got one, two, three. All function the same. This still functions. Obviously, don't put it where the lead hatch is like I have. So, yeah, obviously, you will fit more in there, but. It's a lot more, a lot more cost. So yeah, that's it's a trick on how to save a little bit of cost and a bit of room. So see you later, guys.